YouTube, Wagwan. All right, so today we're going to do a different kind of video. It's going to be um, pretty much just drums tutorial, mainly dance uh, drum pattern. All right, so first thing, make we just get into it. So I already load up a kick, a snare, and a hi hat, but I'm going to show you how I load it. So normally, with the kick or with the snare and the hi hat, I normally use um, Ultra Beat in Logic Pro X. So to get to that, you got a file and you press new. Sorry, hold on. Not file, sorry. Not file. You got a track, new, and then this gonna come up and you're gonna you're gonna click create software instrument. But down here, you can you can say number of tracks and you say one, you can change that to so in this case you can change it to three. You gotta change this to three. Cause you want three tracks. Alright? And then you press create. But since I have it created already, I'm gonna cancel that. And then what I always do is um label it. So as you can see, I label it kick, a snare, and a hi hat. Alright? Now once you have ultra beat now, you ultra beat gonna come up like this, and then now you load the sample. So I normally, I don't even know why, why I do this, but I normally put this all the way up here, like that. And then I would load, I would load the, um, the kick. That's how I would load it. All right? So right here, we have it right here. And then you go here to where it says, you have a little, um, a box right here, you click this box and then you load sample. So let's do it together. Let me load a kick. Um, just because of the, the video, we're just gonna load any any kick from um, the drum kits that come with Logic Pro X. So let's go to classic hip hop and let's just load any kick. So let's find a kick. Can we find a kick here? All right. Right here, find the kick, open it. All right, now we have the kick. So remember, it's just for the video's sake. So normally I would pick a, pick a better kick, but for the video's sake, we're gonna go with that kick. All right, let's take off the the um the, ver the reverb. Then we'll go to the snare, same thing. Go to ultra beat, and then we have a snare loaded already. Right here, that's the snare. After that now, we want a hi-hat, and I think I loaded the hi-hat already also. So let me see if the hi-hat, if I have a hi-hat loaded up. Let me bring this over here so you guys can see. So I have a hi-hat right here loaded up already. So now we have the kick, the snare, and the hi-hat. Um, remember, you know, like and subscribe to the channel if it help. Um, if not, leave some comments below so I can I can make the video better. But, um, and this is just for beginners. So, I mean, if you guys know all of this already, you can just skip the video. But for beginners, this is how you have the kick, the snare, and the hi-hat. And how I do it, don't necessarily have to be the same way you, you do it, but this is how I do it. And I'm just going to show you how I do it, all right? So with the kick now, I always make sure, say, you have like four bars. Pretty much that's it. You go to this arrow right here, click it, and then you can use a pencil tool. And I normally do this, the pencil tool, and, and click in the box right there, and then drag it. Now we have a whole complete. I think it's four bars. I just said four bars. Now we'll go up to window and open piano roll. Remember, this is how I do it. Okay? Um, so dance hall now. First of all, dance hall always hit on the first 
We well, yeah, said the first in the first bar, it, it goes one, two, and then there's nothing after that. Then we skip that and we go. To, we skip a whole box right here, and then we add two more, right there, and then we keep doing that until we get to the the third bar. All right, and then I normally copy everything. Copy it and then add it over here. I know everything looks like this. And if you don't really understand what I'm saying, you can just follow along in the video. And next thing, before you even start, I made a mistake. Before you even start, dance hall is always between, most of the time is between 95 and 100 BPM. So for this video, we're going to do 100 BPM. But normally, it's between 95 and 100. All right? Let me open up back this piano roll. So there you have it right there. This is the drums, and it's supposed to sound like this. Now remember, this is, this is the older version of dancehall. So... The nowadays dance hall take on a different drum pattern. It, they take on the, the more hip hop drum pattern. All right, so this is like dance hall back in the day, like the 90s and stuff, and stuff like that, and 2000s, all right? So after that now, we'll go to the snare. Same thing again, we have the pencil tool. Clicking on box right there and drag it. And then we're gonna draw in the snare. You can also play it, if you, if you can play piano, you can also play the keys on any piano that you have, like a, um, a MIDI controller. You can play it, you can play it out, but for this video, I'm drawing, in, drawing everything in, all right? So the snare, normally you have the drums, you have the kick go doom, doom, and then you have the snare hits right here. Let me get a pencil tool. So you have the snare that hits right about there. And then you keep continuing. It's gonna go doom, doom, tch, doom, doom. And then you hit it right there. And then doom, doom, right there. Again, and right there. Remember, just follow along with the video. And you can always pause it and then go back to it. But this is just a normal dancehall drum pattern from back in the day. So it's gonna sound like this. Hold on. Actually, it has to be closer. I'm sorry. So you have to drag this a little bit closer. No, actually, it's, 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 it's good. I just forgot to, um, I, have to I, I forgot I soloed the snare. All right, so right now you're going to have, have it sounding like this, a drum pattern. All right, after that, now we'll go with the snare. And you're gonna add in the snare. So remember, we have a snare. This is how I do, do the snare. Probably people do it different, but this is how I do it. Let me solo the snare for uh, the, the arm, the hi-hat, sorry, not the snare, the hi-hat. Let me solo the hi-hat. And then now for the hi-hat, I have the hi hat like hidden right here. I have the hi hat hidden with a, with the drum, with the kick drum, and then I normally have it about. Let's say, let's try here. Sometimes it's trial and error, and then I normally have it like that. And then hit right here with the kick again, and then a double. I had right there, and that's how I normally have it for back in the day dance hall. Just copy and paste. Copy all this and paste. And then that's the drum pattern I normally have for back in the day dance hall. I'm gonna make you guys hear it. 
and they can tweak it too. If it if it if you don't like how it sound, you can tweak it. But back in the day, this is how dancehall should sound. And that's how it normally so, it's supposed to sound. That's 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 um natural dance hall from back in the day, right? So this was just a tutorial, supposed to be short. Hopefully it wasn't too long. If you like this type of video, like and subscribe. Put some comments below. All right. But until next time, I'm out. And you know what? When when the next video, I'm gonna do um, it's it's always normally a dance hall or a hip hop. So. I believe the next video I'm going, I'm going to do a hip hop. All right? So until next video, I'm out. Like and.